Hello, this is Paylor Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. Oh, what were we even... Okay, yeah, last time we beat Radon, and then we were trying to decide what we wanted to do after that, and I have been playing a bunch of Breath of the Wild, and so I'm definitely going to mix up buttons for a little bit. Uh, this is jump, not run. This is dodge and run. That was heal, not attack. Yep. These sorts of things. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. So I might as well just... Travel straight here. I have a very, very, very long list of things that I have not. Oh, for the love, are you serious? Okay, let's have one of you at a time. Jeez. Anyway, now we have a second one.
Okay, yeah. I have that follow up somehow. Okay, and that was like all of my, all of my health. What were you guarding aside from the somber smithing stones? A regular smithing stone. Improvement. Can't get through there. Yeah, I definitely feel like there is more to this place than I have seen so far. Golden Rain Six. Not bad. Definitely not following that out. all of these like it's not even it's 
It's not even locked or opens from the other side. It's just not even available at all. I definitely... I don't want to spend too long in one place because that'll just get boring, but I do think that I'm going to spend more time here at some point. If I don't find something promising soon. Then I'll move on to another item on my list. I have a list of like... Thirty, forty different things... That I've seen... While, uh, while editing past episodes. I'm currently, I currently just edited episode 35, so anything I find after that point I won't get right away, but... Yeah, I, I don't... Under there's okay. I think that there must be an illusory wall somewhere or something. Either that, or I'm supposed to come back here at some point. Either that, or killing Radon has just locked me out of a bunch of stuff. I really hope it's not the last option. Can't use that. Yeah, that just, that takes you up there, right? Takes you there. Yeah, so this goes over there. Can't go down into there. That sucks. Okay. Um. Okay. That looked prominent. Like it could be a illusory wall. It's definitely not going to be one of those places. Watch it is. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Okay, I'm going to write down to return to this location uh, in accessible rooms in Red um, Castle. Okay, holy pots from dying skeletons was a question that I had. So, um. If you look at holy pots, uh, 
Um, highly effective against those who live in death, even preventing them from rising again. So I, I kind of think I want to use some holy pots and see if I can get rid of those skeletons in uh mm, we never went here let's go to number four see what that's about I'm imagining it's probably a Colosseum based on its size and whatnot. Whoa. Nope. I'm dry, dry as a bone. Full dragon, surrender your strength. Let me feast on your heart. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Ah. Seriously. Sorry, it's been too long. Okay, here's another thing on my list, actually. There's this... Ooh. Thought it was a skill herb. It was not. Let me get rid of this off my list of items. All right. Let's look for next thing. Um, well, we have the deep underground area in Stormvale, but I'm going to come back to that. Um, let's see. Okay, we have a bunch of things to read. Let's just do that at the moment. Hmm. Read the Carrion Glintstone Staff. I may have already read this, but at the time I made the note, I hadn't. And if I've read it, it's been between 35 and now. What am I doing? Where, where, okay. No. Every sickle. I don't remember picking this up. Those weapons are evidence of their dedication to the Halog tree, despite never having entered its presence. Weapon carried by aged Albanarx. Crystal sword, read that. Seriously. Oh, ranged catalysts, right, okay. Uh, carrying in Glintstone staff. Given to sorcerers that they might enact the role of knight, enhances carrying sword sorceries. Okay. Hmm. Read the square off. Ash of War. Determination. Oh, here it is. 
This skill starts with a sword held level, follow up with a normal attack to slash upwards through an enemy's guard or a strong attack to perform a running thrust useful on straight swords. Gotcha. Okay. Read meteorite staff. A uh, staff embedded with a dark purple glintstone said to be the fragment of a meteorite boasts high sorcery scaling and boosts gravity sorceries as well. However, the staff cannot be strengthened in any way. Can't you? So, good base stuff, but not, uh, could be probably outstripped by other items. Uh, read the Barricade Shield Ash of War. Yeah, it's gonna look. Yeah, it's gonna be this one. Um, barricade shield, skill skill made famous by Sir Neidhart. Focus your energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Usable on all shields. Okay. Read chilling mist, ash of war. Coat armament and frost and then slash spreading frigid uh, mist forward. The armament retra retains its frost for a while. Usable on melee armaments. Okay. Uh, read the Staff of Loss. Um, staff missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. The staff only distinguishes itself when casting invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough for some to wield it. Okay. Um, staff of loss, Night Comet. Night Comet. Sounds like it's probably... No. Um... Here we go. Uh, one of the night sorceries of Celia Tana Sorcery fires a semi-invisible magnetic or magic comet. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion, charging enhances potency. The Celian sorcerers were assassins and said they often hunted their fellows. I think I may have actually read this between 35 and now or some other time and I just missed it. Uh, Dragon Wound Grease. That's something I probably read, but I just completely have spaced what it even does. Uh, okay, Coats Armament granting anti-dragon effects. The effect lasts only for a short time. When the dragons were born from their ancient kin, they lost their stone scales, which can now be used to cause them mortal harm. Okay. Okay. Craftable item. All right. Read Wandering Noble Ashes. It's gotta be... Um, used to summon the spirits of five wandering nobles. The spirits of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was has long been forgotten. And then this one. Spirit of a, a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Rhea Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown. However, he is only... However, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Okay. 
Okay, an item guarded at the bottom of the belt lift in the academy. Let's go. It's gotta be early on, right? Here we go. It's at the very bottom. I just... I saw the enemies over here and then just... Ah, of course. Was there anything else over here? Is there any reason for me to be fighting these people? Not, not as far as I can... Okay. Guarded at the bottom of the belt lift in the academy. Okay, we picked up an item that almost just became another item on my list in the near future because I almost just completely ignored that. Summons two Avionet soldier spirits, spirits of marionette soldiers with avian features that were created to serve a sorcerer. Equipped with long, hafted scythes, they also attack from the skies by lobbing fire pots. Can sometimes malfunction when damaged. over here.
right. Gotcha. Okay. Nothing else from over there is coming this way. Let's just... Um... Wait a second. Wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, this is not the right spot. D debate parlor? That might be it. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so after this point there was... a locked door that we never... Don't see an item next to that, so I... Gotcha. So this goes up here. It's a shortcut to wherever this is. Which goes up onto the roof. Is that a crystal lizard?
Okay. Darts. Meteor bolt. That's new. One second. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. We should take that remembrance back. Here we go. It's gonna be these. Enchanted work of craft made in tandem with the full moon crossbow. The tip is embedded with glintstone. Like a shooting star, these bolts leave a beautiful trail when fired. Deals magic damage. Just death. Hmm. One second. Smithing stone. Mm. Interesting.
What is this? Another Academy Glintstone key. Shattering crystal. Looks like I mean it's probably Yeah. Creates a crystal mass that shatters in a forward burst, charging hands its potency. The crystallians are an inorganic beings, yet they live. They cleave close to the ideals of the primeval current, and as such, they're revered guests of the sorcerers. Glintstone Staff. <laughs> nope. I always think I'm one past where I am, or one before where I am. Uh, here we go. Wow. Requires 52 intelligence. That's never happening. Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reducing casting reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. I mean, it looks sweet. It's never happening, but it looks sweet. Okay. Sage Glintstone Crown. Okay, that's not the first item like that, or the first like glowing thing we've seen. <sighs> Inventory is probably. Yeah, here we go. One of the Glintstone crowns bestowed upon Ray Lucaria, scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy, greatly increases intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. Uh, scholars of the Twin Sage Conspectus were, in the, were the elites of the Academy, permitted to study and excel in sorceries of all kinds.
Okay, so it boosts your intelligence by six. Okay. Well, there's still stuff here we haven't found. Let's rest. Oh, we're, we need 20 more. One second. Let's level up. Or dexterity, I guess. Okay. Debate parlor. We've been doing this for like 50 minutes. We haven't we haven't figured out how to stop the rolling balls yet, so Come down here. No. Okay. Noble Slender Sword. Narrow blade carried by wandering nobles, made easy to wield, daubed with gold from tip to tail. It should fetch a good sum. I don't know why they creep me so creep me out so much. Anyway. So that's the roof passage that there are some more. Okay, hey.
I think you dropped your book. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't see the uh, golden seed there, so I, I think we got that one already. Okay. Carlos Glintstone Crown. One of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars who, whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. The Carlos Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's lineages of study begat by the Sorcerer Azure. Uh, the scholars who follow in his footsteps pursue the mysteries of Comet. I'm surprised he didn't attack me. Okay, let's uh, go back to the debate parlor. Okay, I should be able to mostly avoid the chaos up there if I go through. This door. I couldn't get up. Okay. into the debate hall, and we totally missed this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, after the debate hall. Okay, we have a bell tower there. be malfunctioning slightly. Whoa. I wasn't trying to do that.
to just come up here. I think there was at least one more of those crabs. So let's pay attention for things that we can climb up instead of just jumping down. I could easily have missed a ladder, for example. definitely something up there at the very top of that. What is that? One second. Wow. That's good. I have no idea, but there's definitely something up there. that way which I think is the only way I can go from this point That's a drop to something we haven't seen.
Okay, blunt down. So this is this is where we went last time. Oh, look at that! Another thing we missed. Okay, well that works. Magic grease. Oh, hey. Imbued. Oh. Yeah, okay. This is this is where I came down from before. Okay, I, th I think, uh, there's, okay, well, there's definitely still some stuff that we haven't got, that's for sure. Yeah, that was totally tracking me. That was totally tracking me. Can I open from this side? Yeah, there's still more stuff here that we haven't got. Really? Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah, this dude can just parry my my hits. So I don't know how you I don't know how you fight someone when they just continuously parry you like that. Follow me? Can I just say, when you're designing a game and somebody loses the ability to control the game because their controller dies or something, maybe, maybe you should implement something where, I don't know, you pause the game. Like I know Dark Souls and FromSoft is all about not pausing their games, but I feel like you should make just a tiny bit of an exception for when somebody's controller dies. I don't know. Maybe that's me being a tiny bit nitpicky, but I feel like, I feel like that's a reasonable. That's such bullshit. Of course. <sighs> if I can get him to just die to the boulders, I will be all kinds of happy. Like, all kinds of happy. I mean, I've already lost all of my runes, so... Don't ask me how that hurt me. It looked like it missed me by a mile.
come on. Okay. You'd think the fact that I already activated this would mean I could use my spirits, but... You know, what do I know? I just need you to put your shield away. I think... Okay. I was like, I can keep him out here where he can get hit by the ball. Nope, I can't do that because he's just gonna burn through all my stamina and then stab me. <laughs> I... <sighs> I don't know if you can fathom the depths to which I hate this character. I haven't felt this depth of loathing for an enemy since... What was his name? One of the uh, enemies in Dark Souls 3. Mm-hmm. 
Nope. But okay, I don't know why you didn't. He had the absolute best opportunity there to just kill me. Okay. Well, I guess he killed me anyway. Dude, you are going to die. Oh, you are going to die. And when you die, I will feel more satisfaction than any other boss I have ever fought in this game. N no joke. Carrion Knight. Nope. Why do I keep risking it? Why do I risk it? There is no reason for me to take that risk, yet I do it anyway. And then he just parries and one-shots me. <laughs> okay, I'm out of time. I'm going to keep doing this next time. And we are going to beat him. He is going to die, and we are going to enjoy it. Anyway, until next time, see you, and bye.